Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in three powerful decks of cards today to bring in a message. So we're going to connect with the Divine Masculine Dark Truths. We're going to connect with the Divine Masculine Dark Struggles. And we're going to connect with the Divine Masculine Deepest Concerns. A really powerful combination of decks to connect with a journey. So what does your person want to say to you today? What's on their mind? What's going on with them? What are they thinking about very intently and clearly? What's concerning them? This card's moving as well here. What's on their mind? Wow, jump straight out here. So they've got a lot going on and they are giving me a little block in the throat chakra as well. So I definitely feel that they are working on communication and the need to express themselves and communicate to you. And they want you to know that, that that's what they are intending to do. So if you're thinking what's their intention... Their intention is to speak their truth. So their message for you today is, you change me in ways I can't even explain. Isn't that powerful? You change me. And you change them just by being you. You didn't do anything special. You just were being you. And that's when you're in your power and your light. So you've changed them. They can never go back to how things were before you because of you. You change me in ways I can't even explain. And that's also explaining to you that they can't put what they are going through into words. They don't know how to explain this to you. And if they can't explain it to themselves, how can they even explain it to anyone else? So they are working out how to express this. And if they are going through anything where it may be triggering you or challenging you, they're doing it to boost their ego. Your person is reassuring you. If I'm on social media flirting with anyone else or if it seems like I don't care or I'm liking everyone else's photos but yours or paying everyone attention but you, it's just down boosting my ego. It doesn't mean anything. I'm gaining confidence right now. You know me. You know the real me. You know the truth. So I feel this message coming through here is for anyone who is struggling with this because maybe they seem to be playing the field or, you know, maybe they are liking other people's pictures on social media or maybe you work together and they could be flirting with others at work or what your person is saying is, know me. You know me. You know the truth. You know who I am. Everything else is illusion. It's I'm boosting my ego right now. You're the one who's changed me. You've changed me in ways I can't even explain. And sometimes they have to gain confidence within themselves, especially if they've just walked away from a relationship or they're trying to find that confidence again. So they may be on dating apps or social media to boost their ego. They may be going out with their friends to boost their ego. Understand that they are interested in you. You know, they are interested in you. And they're saying to you, I know that you are focusing on other things and it makes me curious about what you're doing. I want to share your dream. So they are actually thinking about you. So you may be spending time worrying about what they are doing or who are they are spending time with, but they are actually focused on you. And they know that you're focused on other things. So they are aware that you're going to work or you're doing your job or you're going out with friends or you're living your life and you may be showing the world that you are happy and fine and successful. Even if you're dying inside, even if you were struggling inside, you're projecting this image of power and your person is saying, I know you're focusing on other things right now. I know you're busy. And that makes me curious about what you're doing. And what I'm really getting this energy coming through of is if they seem to be distracted with other people, if they seem to be flirting with others or interested in others, they really aren't. They're interested in you. They may even be doing this to see if you're bothered because they are wondering, do you still want me? Do you still love me? Because they see you living your best life and getting on with things and they are curious about what you're doing and who you're doing it with. So they may have other motives as to why they're doing this as well, to see if you still care, if you're bothered, if you're going to get jealous. And they are not doing that to hurt you in any way. They just want to know. They're curious about you. Do you still care about me? And if they seem to be giving everyone else attention, it's because they are very aware of how they feel about you. And maybe they're afraid that if they give you the attention, everyone's going to know. You know me. And they're saying, wow, look at you. Look at you in those clothes, looking like that, wearing that smile. Wow. 
This means they are watching you. They're curious about you. They're watching your social media. They've got an eye on you. Okay, if you live in the same community or area, they are aware of you. They are seeing you around. They know you like you know them. But they are saying, wow, in those clothes looking like that, wearing that smile, wow, you can get anybody. I'm worried you're moving on. Are you still wanting me? Look at you in those clothes. That means that you may have gone out somewhere. Maybe you've posted a picture online and they're like, wow, you look amazing. Or they've seen you looking amazing. Or you've been wearing something they like to see you in. It could be a nice colour they love. Or a certain dress or outfit that they love to see you in. Or maybe you've got your hair a certain way. But they are saying, wow, I'm attracted to you. And when you wear that smile, wow. So again, it doesn't matter what you wear. It doesn't matter what clothes you wear. It matters when you're wearing that smile because that's you showing the world that you're okay. And that turns them on. And also your person saying, come on, you know me. You know the real me. You see the real me. That's why I struggle sometimes to look you in the eyes. That's why I may be seeming to flirt with everybody else but not you because you see the real me. And I'm worried that everyone is going to see how I feel. But you see right into my soul and that makes me vulnerable. And I'm messaging you. I'm not messaging anybody else. I'm messaging you because there's so much I want to say. And that's why they give me this blocking the throat chakra communication things being resolved because they want to communicate with you. Expect a message from me soon. Also an apology. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me to be. I wanted to be, but I was afraid of letting you down. I was afraid of failing you and I do need you. Your love and light guides me home. Isn't this beautiful? This is so powerful when in yesterday's reading, we spoke about you being the lighthouse, that your love and your light guides them home. And your person is saying today, thank you for being the lighthouse in my life. Thank you for sending it to me. I do feel your energy, your love and your light and I need it now more than ever. You give me hope that I can be happy again. Thank you for making me happy again. Thank you for being my best friend even when I've pushed you away. Nobody knows me like you do. You know me. This is a real message you need to know today. You know me. No matter what they're doing to boost their ego. No matter what they are saying to you or not saying to you. Nobody knows them like you. And they are grateful for that. I see you and I feel you. I see you, I feel you. Again, they're watching you, they've got their eye on you. Wow, wearing those clothes, looking like that. And they're also researching you and researching the connection between you. So they may be looking up the word twin flames, soulmates, soul connections, divine love, trying to understand what they are feeling and experiencing. They may be trying to connect with you online to see what you're doing. Because their whole life is different now. Why? Because you change them. You and your connection with them change them in ways they can't even explain. My whole life is different now. Things I used to do only boost my ego. They don't satisfy me or make me happy. My whole life is different now. So I'm trying to work out why. I'm researching us, trying to understand. And I lie awake every night thinking thinking because I don't know what to do to make it better. I don't know what to do to make it right between us. I don't know what to do to help you understand that you're the one, that I do care about you no matter what's going on. And I lie awake every night trying to understand what this is. I'm struggling to sleep because of it. It's keeping me awake at night because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do because you've changed me in ways I can't even explain. So I need to work out what's going on. I need to find answers because I see you and feel you even when you're not there. And I need you. Your love is guiding me. Thank you for sending that light to me. I'm so sorry I wasn't there when you needed me to be. I will make it better. And wow, wearing those clothes looking like that, I'm interested I'm interested in you. You know me. You know that anything else I'm doing is just boosting my ego to give me confidence. Sometimes I do that because I don't know what to do. I lie awake every night worrying, thinking about the things I've done that have hurt you. And I just want to thank you today for being there for me, even when I've pushed you away. And understand that 
I am going to message you. I am going to reach out to you because since I've met you and known you, my whole life is different. And that's what you need to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.